I dreamt I saw an eagle. His cry was magnificent. His down was whiter than a swan's, his wings as bright as gold. His beak was deadly, his claws fists of steel. I tied a thin silk ribbon to his claws, and I kept him in my yurt for many days and many nights. There were no other birds in the sky and no animals in the valley. They were too frightened. Everyone trembled before him. Man, I, your God, speak to you. I give you this bird who will understand your language. He will be of help to you during your lifetime. Keep him, feed him well, and he will bring you valuable prey. If not, his claws will kill you. Hassan is one of the last eaglers of Central Asia. He knows this thousand-year-old poem by heart. Every day he thanks Allah for this gift, a symbol of divine royalty. For this descendant of the Kyrgyz, a people of mixed Turkish and Mongolian origin, his relationship with the eagle is a true love affair. He captured his four-year-old golden eagle last year. Hassan is 62, and his one passion is to hunt together with his predator, as his ancestors did more than 3,000 years ago. Hassan is going to show his bird to an old eagler who lives lower down in the valley. He's proud of his very handsome animal. He's finished training the bird and has just begun to hunt with him. Kyrgyzstan is surrounded by mountains which have yet to be fully explored. The Tian Shan chain, called the Celestial Mountains, is one of the most beautiful ranges in Central Asia. It is home to the largest variety of birds of prey in the world. Only the most rugged and isolated shepherds who live at high altitudes can penetrate the mysteries of these mountains. Aru is a master eagler, respected by everyone. At 72, however, he no longer goes hunting in the mountains. The eagles are too demanding. The two men are happy to be together again. They haven't seen each other for two years. The old master looks the animal over and seems to be very impressed by its size and its strength. The men talk about taming. Hassan listens to every word and watches every gesture. Aru's advice is precious and very useful in the education of the young eagle. Aru is not as strong as he used to be and now prefers to tame falcons. They're less tiring for him and better adapted to his environment. Hmm. 
The two friends decide to go hunting on the banks of nearby Lake Isikul. But first, it's time for the traditional Kyrgyz tea. Only the falcon will accompany them. Eagles are used at high altitudes to hunt foxes and wolves. In addition, the thorny bushes along the lake could damage their wings. The old master's sense of caring for the birds he has tamed is what earned him his great reputation. After hunting with them for several years, Aru's custom is to set them free. The birds show their affection for him by coming back to visit every spring. <laughs> The two men reach Lake Isikul, one of the largest stretches of spring water in the world, an interior ocean at 1,600 meters of altitude. Aru knows that patience is a hunter's most important weapon. The observation period is essential. You must be attentive to the slightest movement on the plateau. As a sign of respect for the falcon, Aru lets him feed himself, since a bird of prey must keep his hunter's instincts and satisfy his own appetite. <laughs> Hunting is good in this region, and Aru enjoys the pleasure of eating wild game at every meal. It's spring, and the snow has just begun to melt. Hassan will soon be able to go through the passes to hunt with his eagle. In the winter, only the banks of Lake Isikul, Kyrgyz's warm water ocean, are free of snow. Higher up, huge snowdrifts block the passes. On his land, near one of his shepherd's yurts, Hassan teaches his grandson Azat the art of being an eagler. The boy must learn these noble gestures so that one day he too can possess a golden eagle, the symbol of brave warriors and chiefs. <laughs> The old man tells the youngster that the eagle's powerful claws are capable of breaking his victim's spinal column. 
It's the bird's primary weapon, and Azat must learn to take good care of them. He's showing his grandson how to hold the leather strap in order to release the eagle quickly when the bird is ready to pounce on his prey. Very few people are capable of getting near this sometimes very aggressive predator. The leather hood made to measure by his master makes the bird look like a warrior. It's used, however, to blind him and make him more docile. Azat dreams of having his own eagle. He too hopes to become a great eagler one day. His grandfather has given him a net of his own and shown him how to set traps. <laughs> The pigeon makes excellent bait, and a number of birds of prey have already flown over the trap. But Azat's dreams are flying away. Capturing a golden eagle is not easy and can take several years.
Hassan doesn't want his grandson to feel failure and decides to take him hunting high up in the mountains. Suddenly, a young wolf appears at a mountain pass. Once he's released his eagle, Hassan runs behind him so as not to lose the bird in one of the valleys, and especially to help him resume his flight. With a two-meter wingspan, the eagle has difficulty taking off on flat ground. The young wolf doesn't get winded easily, and thanks to his agility, escapes his attacker's claws. <laughs> to console the two hunters, Etmakan, Hassan's wife, organizes a game inside the yurt. Torgu's Korgal is a game based on counting and capturing the other player's beads. Here in the mountains, educating children is the job of the grandparents. The parents are too busy working on isolated farms at high altitudes. <laughs> To hunt well, you must be alone, Hassan likes to say. 
His greatest pleasure is to go up on the ridges with his eagle. He then spends hours on foot going from one valley to another. Eaglers know that at this time of year, foxes go down into the valleys looking for food, and the ridges make perfect observation posts. After hours of hiking, with his seven kilogram eagle on his forearm, Hassan begins to have some doubts. The foxes are rare for the beginning of spring. Suddenly, he spots one. Hassan's blue eyes, typical of his Turkish origins, are almost as piercing as those of his eagle. The chase is on. The fox is a rebel and doesn't give up easily. Hassan saw his prey running further down into the valley. The fox is trapped far from his den. The hunter knows he has just enough time to get his eagle and launch him off a ridge. After this second attempt, his eagle accomplice resumes his flight and rejoins the old man. The well-trained predator waits for the arrival of his master so as not to destroy the fur. As a reward, the bird gets some of the game for himself. Hunting with an eagle in Kyrgyzstan 
is a noble adventure. The mutual respect between man and animal does honor to this gift from God. After 3,000 years of history, the art of the eagler is still a poem filled with meaning. <laughs>